going to do the vision. Uh, to understand the vision, you need to understand a lot of things. So let's start with this. Three times five equals. Um, what does this look like? Can you draw this using dots? You can use apples, you can use pencils. Let's see if we can draw three times five on the piece of paper. So let's pause the video. So first thing you need to understand is three times five means in the language of English. That's three lots of five. So you may have done three groups of five. You may have done three groups, sorry, five groups of threes. Don't mind that. The answer will be 15 altogether. You may have done a number line, five, 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 and you landed on the 15. That's even better. What I was looking for was this. Well, it's called the ray. So this is three rows of five dots, or you can say five columns of three dots. So looking at this, this is, I can write two multiplication number sentences. There's another question. Knowing that we're going to use this arrangement array, this is a question. So let's say my dad likes baking. So he baked 12 cupcakes, right? Now he is going to put this, put these cupcakes on a tray. He is going to place three cupcakes in each column. How many columns can you make? Let's pause the video. Let's see if we can draw a picture. Let's pause the video. So what we're doing here is we call division. So threes, six, nine, and twelve. What we just did was twelve divided by three, and we can make four columns. Looking at this picture, can you think of two different to multiplication number sentences. Let's write down, let's put a view. <clears throat> so remember the first exercise, we can clearly see three rows of four dots. Or I can see four columns of three dots to 12. Now, can you see division and multiplications? There is a little connection there. Let's practice. Well, my dad is still baking. This time he baked 18 cupcakes. Now, here's a tray for you. Again, he's going to have three cupcakes in each column. Now, how many columns can you make? Let's draw a picture. Uh, let's pause the video. 
So we need 18 cupcakes. Each column there are three cupcakes. So we add three at a time. Six plus three is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15, then 18. So I can make one, two, three, four, five, six columns of three cupcakes. So I can tell 18 divided by three is equals six. Now, if I draw the picture, I'm sure you did draw this picture. I can think of two number sentences. So clearly these number sentences help me to understand the division. So this time I'm going to give you a question. Twenty-four divided by six equals two. So the story is let's use the same story. My dad baked twenty-four cupcakes. On the tray, he is going to place six cupcakes in the column and let's see how many columns you can make. I'm going to pause the video, you can draw the picture or you can think of the we call the related number sentences. What multiplications would help you to solve this problem? Let's pause the video. So we're trying to find out how many sixes will make 24, right? So six times how many is 24? Or you may be thinking, how many lots of six will make 24? So that number must be the answer here. One, six is six, two, six is 12, three, six is 18, four, sixes are 24. Right? So this time 30 divided by 3. Think of the picture, there are 30 cupcakes, and each column I'm going to have 3 cupcakes. How many columns can you make? Let's pause the video. So I can even count by 3s. Three. 3, 6, 9. 12, 15. Now, how many threes will make 30 is the question, right? So, how many lots of threes will make 30? Or, turn around, three lots of something is 30. Did you get 10? So, this time, I want you to understand division and multiplication, they're very, they have very close relationships. Now this is very important, drawing a picture because that makes you understand divisions very clearly. So last questions, I'm going to give you Thirty divided by five, twenty-four divided by two, and thirty-six divided by six. You can draw a picture. You can think of the multiplication that helps you, or you can simply write the answer. Let's pause the video. So the next video we're going to do this. So see you soon.